What? Are we upside down, really? No, not anymore. We're going to share this. Yeah, share this pig. You want me to share it on Facebook, too? Yeah, share it everywhere. Share it, share it, tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet, YouTube it, Facebook it. We're going to wait for some people to come in. See, uh... If we're gonna get who we need to get in here, and then we will get to crack it. Camera's on. Yeah, I see that. Police is on. Yay. I see that too. Um, everybody knows who this who this lady is. This is <laughs> this is my wife. Oh, I mean that's my beautiful mother-in-law. <laughs> this is my sister. I mean this is my wife. And Jordan's back there in the bed doing nothing. <laughs> Probably watching an Islam movie or something, or Quran or something. Or David Wood. Oh, Jordan's on too? Sweet. Jordan who? <laughs> Our son. Where? He says, I'm here. He's where? Here I am. He's on my mini. <laughs> He's got plugged in back there. He's on it. Oh, he's in oh, here. He's Michael down there. Michael is here too. Ooh, hey, Michael. God Sweet. bless you. Hey, Your everybody. wife wanted me to give you a kiss whenever I meet you on the cheek. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hello, Sister Tamara. I'm in here too, and I'm going to record this, and then I'm going to upload it to YouTube, so it'll be awesome. You know, and anyway, yet we're getting the word out too, so. Yeah. Two birds with one stone. Exactly. Um, we've Who's got. Liar. <laughs> <laughs> she called you out. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I did say I was kidding. <laughs> anyway, we got some we got some scripture. Um, the beautiful wife is going to read for us. Uh, we got a few, so just bear with us. We are this this will uh, this will be interesting to see. Um, how this goes and who all comes in or watches the replay and all that. Um, I feel the Holy Spirit. Hi, Yvette. Hey, Yvette. God bless you. Hey, I'm Yvette. Glad, I'm glad you joined. Love you, sister. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started. Please share this with, with your followers so we can get the word out um, on our subject matter tonight, which... We'll go into uh, love you too. We'll go into this in greater detail from my uh, experiences. So, babe, yeah. without further ado, <laughs> uh, would you read um, Exodus 22 and 18, please? Excuse me. 2022? Uh, 2218. Oh, 2218. Wow, that's way off. 2218. I don't know who put that up, but thank you. Okay. Oh, that was Jordan. Oh, sweet. Thanks, Jordan. All right. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Can y'all hear her? <laughs> She's, she talks really quiet, so... Um, if you guys can hear her, please put up a one. <laughs> no. Uh-oh. Wow, thanks, Jordan. Thanks, Jordan. That's the verse. All right, say it again. Lisa said zero. Zero. Uh-oh. That's pitiful. <laughs> talk, talk a little louder. Thou, not, thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Ten. Vets on it. That's Sweet. Better. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, guys. Two. So, hold on. Huh? Someone said two. <laughs> better. Okay. Okay. Good. So we're not going to get into a lot of scriptures until later on because we're going to actually dive into that deeply. 
in just a moment. So we're going to um, Leviticus chapter 19, verse 31. And you guys are more than welcome to read this for yourself. Don't, don't take our word for it. Okay, I got it. Go ahead. Regard not them that have familiar spirits, neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. Thanks, Kimberly, for inviting followers. God bless you. Hello, Kimberly. Love you, hon. Um, Leviticus uh, 20. Page to turn. Well, my pages are like sticking together because I ain't even wore it out yet. <laughs> Mine's still stick together too. Oh, darn it. Oh, thanks, Jordan. That'd be. I cannot uh, get this. Blow it. I had it a minute ago. Bear with us. We're having technical difficulties <laughs> with pages. Well, that page is stuck, son. I know, right? Oh. Did you spill something sticky on it? Or? Yeah. Well, what? Remember your phone case? No. Oh, my. That stuff inside the... That was yep. only on one page, though. Uh. No, I'll be a the... suck egg mule. Can't even get a page. <laughs> we weren't even in Leviticus, anyway. <laughs> we were in Hebrews, I think. No. Oh, was we? You gotta be kidding me. I'll work on this side, you work on that side, and maybe <laughs> we'll get it. Oh, well, this is about embarrassing. Ooh, I almost had it. Oh, I need my nail in there. There we go. Ooh, maybe. Ooh, maybe. Easy, easy, honey. They may not have split that page. Praise oh, the Lord. Thank God. Praise God. Sorry for the delay. <laughs> We're a bunch of handicapped people around here trying to open up a page. <laughs> I forgot what the verse was. Um, 6, 20 and 6. Oh. And the soul that turneth after such as have famili familiar spirits, and after wizards, to go a-whoring after them, I will even set my face against that soul, and will cut him off from among his people. See, there's that verse again about familiar spirits, and we're, yeah. Just keep that in mind, familiar spirits. Um, Parker's on. Hey, Welcome. Parker, God bless you. Uh, verse 27. Okay. A man also or woman that hath a familiar spirit, or that is a wizard, shall surely be put to death, they shall stone them with stones. Their blood shall be upon them. Jordan, put up uh, Leviticus uh, 20 and... 27. Chap chapter 20, verse 27, too. Also, please. Thank you. Um, Deuteronomy 18. Verse 6 and 27. That one's stuck too. You can tell we're right. never in the Old Testament. <laughs> yeah, the Old Testament's sealed. <laughs> it's just history. Alright. What was it again? 18. 18. Not, listen, eight, uh, chapter 18, 9 through 12. Okay. When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer, 
For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord, and because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before thee, for thou shalt be perfect with the Lord thy God. Okay, ladies. Huh. Familiar spirits again. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. <clears throat> um, let's see. Uh, 1 Samuel 15, 23. It might take a minute to find that one. Yeah, it is. Oh, I just found it. 1 Samuel 15. Uh, 15.23. 15.23. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he hath also rejected thee from being king. Hmm. How about that? That's pretty deep. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Sorry. First uh, Chronicles, chapter ten. First Chronicles. Chapter ten. Chapter ten. Thirteen, fourteen. You guys, uh, keep keep all this in the back of your mind, because y'all are gonna have to sit down. And plead the blood over you after I tell you what 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 this is related to and why. Okay. Okay. So Saul died for his transgression, which he committed against the Lord, even against the word of the Lord, which he kept not, and also for asking counsel of one that had a familiar spirit to inquire of it, and inquired not of the Lord. Therefore he slew him, and turned the kingdom unto David the son of Jesse. Taken away and gave it somebody else. Yep. You can't play. Um, Second Chronicles thirty three and six. Got a uh, uh, four more, and I'll be getting into the topic. Of course, the pages that I want to get to are all <laughs> stuck together. I'm do a close up of his picture. Hammer down. Oh my gosh, really? <clears throat> pages sticking together again? Yeah. Pages sticking together. There we go. I bet Jordan's Bible's the same way. Okay. 33 and, and what? 6. Okay. 33 and 6. And he caused his children to pass through the fire in the valley of the son of Hinnom. Also, he observed times and used enchantments and used witchcraft and dealt with a familiar spirit, and with nice. wizards, he wrought much evil in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, you can't provoke mm. God to anger. Mm -mm. <laughs> it doesn't end well for the person. Mm -mm. Uh, Isaiah 8 and 19. Throw that up for me, Jordan, please. Yep. Okay. Isaiah 8 and 19. And when they shall say unto you, Seek unto them that have familiar spirits, and unto wizards that peep and that mutter, should not a people seek unto their God for the living to the dead? Mm. Mm. <laughs> right? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Acts 19 and 19. It's getting better. 
So after this one, we got one. Getting gooder and gooder. Uh, two, three, 19, four. 19, right? Yeah, 19, 19. We got four more verses after this one. Okay. Many of them also, which used curious arts, brought their books together and burned them before all men, and they counted the price of them and found it 50,000 pieces of silver. That doesn't seem right. Huh? 1919? Yeah, that's what you told me. What? That's what the... Yeah, that's not right. Well, that ain't right. I'm gonna go out of this real quick. Uh, yeah, cause I could have sworn that's what you told me. I could have sworn that's what I read. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Yeah, because I don't want to. I don't want to get this wrong. No. I mean, we got a lot of people that we have to warn. So. That's right. We have to be. That's what it says. Huh? Acts nineteen nineteen. I guess because you use curious arts. Well, that's both books together and burn them, all of them. I don't, I mean, that shouldn't even be there. Curious arts. I mean, it could, I guess. Curious arts would be extracurricular activities in this. Well, it's not their books together, so maybe it was like books about that. Witchcraft. And they brought them together and burned them. Could be. I guess, yeah, I guess so. Uh, yeah, I guess we missed that okay. one. Sorry, guys. We just want to make sure we're right. Yeah, witchcraft books, yeah. All right, babe, I'm sorry about that. I, I just want to make sure we was, we was on, on the same page. And, uh, yeah, okay. anyway, about that. Mm -hmm. uh, Galatians 5. Uh, 20 and 21. Okay. Uh, oh my. What? Jackie is in my skull. Praise oh, wow, well, you got tornadoes? I am. Oh what? my. She Pop said... it in for a few or have Oh, I'm sorry. Well, we're not gonna, we're not gonna believe no tornadoes. No. Hi, Jackie. I'm, I'm Mike. God bless you. Thank you for coming in my scope. Nice to meet you. Is that our Jackie? Yeah. That is our Jackie. Hello, sweetheart. <laughs> I'm back here too. This is a pretty powerful. This is pretty powerful. We're all here. Oh, Jackie, I'm glad you're here. Woo! You're gonna like this. Woo! Yeah. Because you was in on it too. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. I am so glad you showed up. Yeah. God is good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, Galatians uh, chapter five, verse twenty and twenty-one. Okay. They're telling us to take cover. Oh no. Okay, take cover. Um oh, so it's talking to Hold on. Yeah. Um uh, hello Michelle, God bless you, didn't see you pop in. Oh hi Michelle. Um Kimberly Hi, Tamara Hi. Uh who else is in here? Jackie Hi, Jordan Hi. I think we got everybody, okay. <laughs> and anybody else that's not showing up, hi, God bless you. Hang out, get some popcorn because it's gonna get deep. <laughs> I'm All sorry, right. go ahead. So this one's about the works of the flesh. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envies, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you, in time past that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Wow. Mm -hmm. See, you don't have to be into witchcraft to do witchcraft because if we rebel against God, it's still a form of witchcraft. Yep, according if, to 1 Samuel. Yeah, according to 1 Samuel. If you, and if we're not obedient, to the scriptures, that's a form of witch, witchcraft. And if you're, you know, if you're not celebrating with the person and shooting them down when they get elevated or they get a promotion in church, that's a form of witchcraft. Because you have to show people love, regardless yeah. if you think the person deserves to be elevated or a promotion. It's really up to God. So you have to celebrate with them and show them love. 
Okay, my rant's over. <laughs> La, last, last one. Uh, Revelations 21 and 8 and then 22 and 15. Okay, Revelations 22, 8. Nope, 21, 8. Sorry. That's all right. You want, to, you want to show that to the broadcasters of, yeah. of America? Today's, F and also today's date is... Oh, yeah, 24th. This is 20... Uh, 524... Yeah, 524... 17. 17. At approximately 9 o'clock. Okay. Okay. Uh, 21 and 8. Yeah, Jordan, you do. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. <laughs> that would, that would stink. To go through mm, twice. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Seems like some people would want to turn their life around. Except the second death, you really don't die. Is, huh? I mean, you're dead. But you're dead, you're but you're you're alive. You're alive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Jackie's still on. I am. I oh think wow! So. Tamara was driving in tornado warnings. Oh, wow. Wow. Yikes. Yeah, my phone's delayed. I don't know what's going on, but I don't like it. Okay, Revelations. 2215, excuse me guys. Okay. For without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. Jackie just fell out. Mm -hmm. Okay, read that again, I'm sorry. For without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. It was in the first before that I was talking about um, blessed are they that do his commandments they have the right to the tree of life and may enter into the dogs but those without it lists those so yeah it's alright okay so let me scoot this down here and get a little closer with Arid extra dry <laughs> shout out to Arid <laughs> um Slide your phone over. Oh. I want to yeah. yeah. set this over. Okay. I don't want people looking at my nose, even though I just trimmed my nose hairs. <laughs> okay, so this is what happened. I had a awesome day at work. Um, a truck driver lady come in, and she was a little, a little hateful, a little bitter, a little. Um, I really didn't want to be around her, but anyway, I got stuck with her. So, uh, and this is all leading up to where I'm about to go, so bear with me. She, I mean, she's just real hateful and just not real nice and very snooty and whatever. And Well, a, co a state trooper pulled her over, brought her to her shop so we could fix her truck. Because she didn't have a turn signal. And if you know anything about trucking and DOT, they like to write these truck drivers tickets and not think twice, and it goes against the driver, um, which I think is a bunch of malarkey, but anyway. So, a lady come in and said, you know, she's real hateful. I need my turn signal fixed. Okay. We can get you right in, whatever. Well, state trooper, now, now listen to this. State trooper followed me here so I could get my truck trailer fixed, and he didn't write me a ticket. I'm sorry, but if a state trooper did not give me a ticket in a commercial vehicle, I would have been jumping up and down in the middle of Interstate 70. Really? And I would have been thanking him and thanking God. But anyway, she didn't. So she come in the shop real bitter. See what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah. Real bitter, real hateful. And I'm like, you know, I was real nice to her. Southern charm. Killed her with kindness. And got her out the door. And it was just a pigtail. 
ABS cord green to pick you up. <laughs> and she's like, man, that's the fastest, you know, <laughs> I've ever had my work, work done on my truck. And I really wanted to say, well, we're just trying to really get you out of here because you're kind of hateful. Mm -hmm. But I didn't. I just kept my mouth shut and just, well, that's just the way we do it around here. We get you in and get you out. So I left work. I get on scope about halfway home. Phone starts cutting in and out. Uh, Mother-in-law was having problems. She was, uh, Joycey was having problems staying connected. And then I had, to, I got a phone call which really screwed it up. So I had to restart. And then when people come in that I don't follow and they're not following me, I don't know. I, I don't see no bobbleheads down here at the very bottom of the screen and see who's in there. And most of the time I can't see the comments. So I see somebody come in, they're like, hey, or whatever, or God bless you, or whatever. So I saw that and I was like, oh, God bless you too. Thanks for coming in. So I didn't pay no attention to it. And then I guess on their end, or her end, she starts seeing more and more and more comments. And I was like, okay, well, whatever. Nobody's talking, no big deal, because I was driving. And she's like, block him. And I'm like, I see two people in here, and I'm supposed to, because it was her and her, and my scope on the way. And I was like, who am I supposed to block? What are you talking about? Uh, call me, call me. I was like, I'm right in the middle of a scope. Why do you want me to call you? So anyway. <laughs> so I ended the scope, because I felt, you know, a sense of urgency in my spirit. So I called her and I'm yelling at her and screaming. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh yeah, I would. Pray. Yeah, I would be crazy about. It. Yeah. Man, that's really delayed. Anyway. Yeah. So. I call her and she's like, "You're not gonna believe this." And I was like, "What are we talking about?" <laughs> she's like, "Guess who was on your scope?" Jesus. I, you know. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I was like, I have no idea. She said, hold on, let me, let, me, let me get this situated so you all can see it. Uh-oh. We froze, guys? No. Yeah, that's Adele. <laughs> Not a real good picture. Um, but take a Take a look at that beautiful smile. Just gorgeous. Uh, just a beautiful smile. There's a better one. Um, yeah, do you guys put that face in the back of your mind? Because I'm about to take you um, to some dark places. I'm going to turn this pig around. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. It's not, well, it's not scary for me because I know who uh, I belong to. Nightmares? I uh, shouldn't give you nightmares. I mean, if you belong to Jesus, then it shouldn't give you nightmares. All right, let, hold on. I got I to gotta get this. I got to get this face off of here because I don't want to see I'm it anymore. All right. It's kind of cute. Where's delete? Where's delete? I don't want to. Just bear with me, guys. My wife and I have been staring at that for like <laughs> two hours. About two hours. <laughs> just for this purpose. So. Okay. So a year ago, this this gentleman messages me. Wants me to join his ministry. Okay. Fell right into it. Hook, line, and sinker. Just fish out of water. So, everything was going good, going good, going good. Then I started seeing the demonic uh, entities in my house. Of course, I don't have no part of that. I've, I've ran them out of this house, too with the help of the Holy Spirit and everybody in this room yes. praying with me. We don't um, play. 
I mean, I'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the devil because I, I know who I belong to. So, anyway, so I started seeing dark entities in my house and the shadow people. Wait, wait. What are we waiting for? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, it gets this, better. Oh, it gets better. This, this is, and if Jackie was on here. That's what I was going to say. She can can back up the story because and and she can because her and Joycey have been following me since day one yes mm -hmm. I missed ten, 10 seconds of your story okay what'd you miss it did cut out and then she she fell out okay I want, I want everybody to hear this so if we have to back up we'll back up rewind I think she fell out right after you said about the entities in the house I gotta have some. I gotta have some lipstick. Where's the lipstick at? On my lips. <laughs> you said the guy asked you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, the guy asked me to join his ministry. Blah blah blah. Everything was going good, and then um, I started seeing black entities, the shadow people, and. Uh, A.K.A. demons. A.K.A. demons. People that don't know. What I didn't that think is. anything about it because everything was going so well, and I know when when God's moving. Yeah, when God's moving, the devil's working even harder to knock you off. T.S.P. My lips are red. I look like I got lipstick on. <laughs> I don't care. Anyway, you're pretty. Oh boy. Um. So I didn't think anything of it, so I, you know, opened the doors, opened the windows, and anointed the house, and um, kicked them out. Um, yes, Jordan, it is. And they were gone for a few days, few months, few weeks, whatever. Well, then my wife at the time, we were having problems, and she was like, she was possessed. I, I ain't, can only slice it one way. So, the more she was talking to that guy I showed you a picture of, um, yeah, wife at the time, not her, no, no, not her, mm -mm. um, last year, this was all last year, um, wife and I at the time, uh, she, we was going through problems, she was severely depressed, she was manic. Um, she was talking to this guy in phone calls, doing live videos with this guy, calling him Papa, um, praying with this guy, just going behind my back and going out of her way to message him, talk to him, um, sorry, babe, okay. or, or whatever. Well, I found out about it, and I was like, you, and, and then I found out that he was not who he says he was mm -hmm. um, because he went from a, a apostle to a prophet in like five months um, yeah the guy that mm -hmm. yeah so anyway when I when I told him not to contact me or anyone else in my family or I was gonna drive to Florida and cut his throat uh, because I was serious because I don't play with that if, if you want to be a devil worshiper you want to do witchcraft you do that on your time because I'm not getting sucked into that so he left me alone but he was still going behind my back talking to my ex-wife at the time which was my wife and uh, I found out about it and I was like you need to leave him alone he's nothing but bad news he's bringing demonic um, entities in our home in our marriage blah 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 don't and she would start cussing and just getting real downright evil you need to not talk about him blah 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 and I'm like alright find out for yourself but I'm not putting up with it so make a long story short like this the oil. Hmm? The, oil. the oil oh yeah uh, so he told he gives her a, 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 a message on on Facebook go get some um, uh, extra virgin olive oil pray over it and let it sit for 24 hours 
So when that happened, um, she prayed over it for 24 hours, let it sit for 24 hours, blah, blah, blah. Well, then she started using it all over the house, all over me, while I was sleeping, I mean, everywhere. And I'm like, uh, yeah. So then we start seeing more and more demonic um, entities, more shadow people, people. They were getting more aggressive. Uh, they were getting bigger. Uh, I had one in my living room that was over eight feet tall. Um, I was out in my garage and I was on the phone with Miss Jackie and she was like, you need to get in your house because there's some things going on in your house while we was praying. We was on a conference call praying around in the house and I saw it out uh, standing by my front door and it was looking down at my wife at the time and I walk, walked in, I opened the front door and I just, I mean, I just started shouting, just get out of the house, go back to hell, you know, plead the blood of Jesus and and my wife at the time, I mean, I'm getting goosebumps just, just talking about it because uh, it's very real. This is not no made up story, no fabrication, anything like that. This really happened to me in my house in Mount Carmel. And I'm st I looked at my wife at the time, and she's just grinning and smiling, and I'm like, that's really not funny. And then she had a weird, sinister laugh, but anyway, I'm not going to go into that. So I, I blessed the house again, ran through it, shouting and screaming. My ne neighbors four blocks away heard me, because uh, my voice carries when I get rowdy, <laughs> and I get loud. Um... Yeah. So, I, I did the upstairs. I opened window. It was cold. I'm talking 10 degrees outside. And I'm opening up windows, just getting this, getting this, and it's probably what, 10, it's probably about 20. Um, it was dead winter. But anyway, getting this uh, big boy out of my house, and then I, I put anointing oil, my anointing oil that I prayed for, prayed over, and started using immediately. Put it on the windows, the doors. I did a, a square um, out in front of the door, back door, basement door, everywhere. And then um, two days later, um, I lost my cool and didn't know why, which I know why now, uh, because someone was praying for me to hurt my wife. So she could move this David guy in. So I ended up breaking my hand because I I punched a wall, well not a wall, but an oak uh, door casing in a house that was built in the 20s and broke my hand really good. Went to work for three days um, because stuff like that don't, don't stop me, but anyway. Um, so she moved out, went to her mom's, I was whatever, and then the rest is history, but the point is, this guy is not who he says he is. Um, and when she told me that um, he was following me, he's and she said that he said that. Uh, what do you say? He says um, his name is uh, Prophet David Navarro. N a v a r r o. N a v a r r o. He said something there like, um, I've been looking for I've you, or looking I found you. you. What did I found you? Yeah, I just. I finally found you, or I just found yeah, you. Yeah, I just now found you, or something like yeah. that. So he is, he is not who he says he is. Excuse me. Don't take my word for it. Pray about it. And you go into one of his scopes. Um, he's a prophet from hell, yes. He, he plays this music uh, that's on a loop and he says it's uh, the angel singing hallelujah and it's very sinister uh, it's uh, it's not very holy at all this, this music but don't take my word for it he'll be since he's got a new account 
he'll be doing scopes and, and unless he changes his his music or his selection he is gonna flat deceive more people and be careful because if he might go around following people that follow either one of us so it's yeah be careful he's already come into some of my scopes too yeah so yeah. be very cautious because he is straight from the pit of hell and he talks a big talk about Jesus, and, and he's not. He is not. He's got that, um, what's it, hold on. Um, the website is uh, in the kingdom of God. I think it's .net or .com, and it's got, the background is a picture of a, like the ocean. But nowhere on it says his mission statement, what he's about. Um, doesn't say anything on his website about the blood of Jesus, unless all that's changed. I have not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, unless, he, like I said, I have not followed this guy. I blocked him. I threatened to kill him because I don't play that stuff, and and uh, which I probably shouldn't have said I wanted to kill him, but. We haven't heard nothing from him until now. Until now. A year later. When he's we're all talking book. about false prophets and we're talking about, hey, come on over to the prophet school. We're starting class. Yeah. Um, and sheep I've already playing. looked at uh, followers and I, what did he say? What, what was that? Well, I didn't, he didn't see him and her followers yet. So. Well, if you can find him, which he's very, very hard to find because uh, he's like, he's like, what? I'll just... Go into his last scope from today, and the You'll people see that watch it, he's What if he's blocked? There. If no one's blocked him yet, I have. it should show up for them. I have blocked him. You blocked him off of you, so you can't see it anymore. Okay. But it might still show up for them. Yeah. Possibly. Uh, but, just a little heads up, I don't play that, and people that, <laughs> people that's been through this with me when I was stupid, and, you know all that naive stuff and wanted to get my ministry going um, Good. well praise God one down five billion more people to go yeah. um, what does he believe? Uh, he believes in in hell he's almost like a cult leader like he is he a cult leader he brings people in deceives yep. them yep. I just saw that guy's name it was Jim Jones oh he was an idiot too yeah. Jim Jones? over 900 Jones. people yep perished yeah. Because of him. Oh, Drinking the poison? poison? Yes, the poison. Oh, yeah, I remember yep. that. Um, that was back in, in the 80s, I think it was. Yeah, uh, hit now, his his son is also on here. His his son is, uh, um, oh, my phone's hot. I think it's David Moses or Moses David Navarro. Uh, and he's... Um, here, I'll bring his Had five followers up. and following 16 people. Yep, that's him. Yeah, I saw that name too. Yeah, I, was, I I could be wrong because his son likes to, you know, he he takes different names because I guess that's what Mexicans do. I I don't know, but um, I think I received a. Oh my God. Who? What? Michelle. Oh. What? I don't want to see him. Those evil spirits come through the screen. Yes. Oh, yes, they do. That's that's another thing. That's another oh, thing. The green. Whenever he does mm. his scopes. The scopes flash green, and he tells everybody that that that's um, that's uh, angels, angels, uh, angels, angels, the, the angel, archangels. the angel, Michael and, and Gabriel. Gabriel. He's not showing up for me anymore, and I am blocked him. He's not. Not on that one. Let me try your other one. Um. Nope. I block him, so you're not probably not gonna see him. And I am not unblocking that fool. Mm -mm. Well, I'm gonna block mm -hmm. him here in a second. Uh, yeah, block him. You need to block him on your mom's too, honey. Cause yeah, I mean he can. And since we got this out tonight, we can block him completely. Block him. I've got to see if he's on mine. Okay. I'm gonna show you guys his profile picture if I can bring it up so you guys can see. It's not showing up. Wonder why. Yeah. Because I am, I am blocking. Let me, let me do it um, separately here. Nope. Nope. 
Do you know any other scopes? It's not even showing up at all. Hmm. Like you know, like he just disappeared. Um. Wow. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a bunch of people on on Periscope that um, are fake. That's why you have to test the spirits. You have to pray before you go in the scope. Um, I mean, I just don't go in people's scope unless I know I'm like, like Tamara, my mother-in-law, my wife, uh, Sower of the Seed Ministry, um, and and people that follow me that are genuine. And you know, if I get like a, a red flag or or a, I get a upset uh, in my spirit or my stomach or I feel like I'm gonna throw up I get the heck out of Dodge and I block them I don't I don't play games I don't I don't have time to to, to waste my time on trying to keep people from going to hell that's why you have to test the spirits you have to pray about it yes and you have to ask God for direction you know so you know because God's gonna let you know if, if they're for him or not that's yeah. right. And, you know, you, you can do your research on David Navarro. You can ask around. Um, there's a lady on here. Um, yeah. uh, she's on Periscope. Her name is, uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, Warrior for God. Her name is Deborah Faulkner. And, okay, good. I don't have him. That's praise God. You can follow her. You can ask her. I have her email because we used to talk about it. Uh, she used to email me back and forth. We've had phone conversations. She sent me a uh, she sent me a uh, a direct link to her Periscope when he came into her Periscope, and the Holy Spirit shut him down. Would he he could not say anything. And everybody, uh, I mean, we're talking thousands of people was in the scope. I have ten. Ten's better than none. Because mm -hmm. ten, word of mouth will get out. Did Jackie ever fast. come back on? No. no. Um, okay. So, I mean, everybody with her scope was, was on him, praying, you know, um, telling him to speak up. Um, and then, you know, he wouldn't say anything because... The Holy Ghost had arrested him in her scope so everybody could say what they wanted to say to him and send the demonic spirit that was on him um, back to hell. And it worked because now we hadn't, I hadn't heard anything from him until now. And they can ask Jackie. Jackie. And Becky Sims. Becky Sims. She's, she knows all about it too. So. Yeah, if you follow uh, Becky Sims, just go in her scope one day. Don't mention my name. Just say, tell me about David Navarro. Message me on Facebook. Call me. Uh, do a one-on-one -on -one private scope with me because uh, I want to find out, and then you'll get your answers. Mm -hmm. uh, Jackie's the same way. Message her. Ask her about it, and uh, you'll get your answer. Uh, she's a lady that we follow. Um, Here, let me put her name. I got bit. Did you get bit? I don't know, but I got bit. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. I got bit by something. Mosquito. Mosquito oh, bites. Yeah. yeah. I wish they'd go to, go to. Mmm. We know why he's coming out now. Who? Why? Because we're trying to start a ministry. Yeah, well, all I can say is we're going to need a lot of prayer yeah. because our ministry is about to take off. Yes. Our um, website is probably going to be done the end of the month, not this month, but the following month. Um, so we, we're asking um, because this guy, Guardians of Truth <laughs> Fellowship, got your back. <laughs> I yeah. appreciate that. Um, yeah. I already have have enough enough problems with dealing with. Where's she at? Hey, Michelle, do me a favor. Cover your ears. Are your ears covered? Put up a one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
I have a hard time um, um. what what what, what, what was you, that? What do you say when people tell you that you're into witchcraft and demonic stuff when you're not? Tell them to kiss off. Are you still dealing with that, Lisa? Anyway, I have a hard enough time dealing with truck drivers. Um, with, I have no patience for impatient people, and <laughs> and I don't really <laughs> like to be put in that situation of getting cussed out or talk to like I'm a dog like for hours I mean I do have a breaking point um, so <laughs> he has a mother-in-law and a wife that is very impatient she's worse than me oh my but God. we're both we're both impatient Lord but help me. I'm not a truck driver my mother was worse I got that going for me right <laughs> my mother was worse she got that from my mother <laughs> um, so Stuff like this is more important than dealing with angry truck drivers. I'd rather deal with angry truck drivers than somebody that's trying to attack your family and rip you apart yeah. and all that. <clears throat> I'm getting close to mine. Breaking point, probably. Yep. Um, so, you know, we, 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 need, we need a lot of prayer. Um, I do, because uh, I'm, I'm just like any normal man. I stumble day to day and... I make mistakes. She beats me up and hits me over the head with a frying pan. I just look at her. Um, okay, just funny. kidding. <laughs> um, but yeah, this guy is is he's, he is bad news. Uh, but don't take my word for it. Pray about it. Do your homework yourself. I can I can only I can only give you a lesson. There's going to be a test at the end of the week, and we're going to have stripper poles. <laughs> and um, purple lights, disco balls, and we we're going to have a class on prophecy and how to prophesy, and we we're going to teach you how to do that. And we'll be selling Joel Osteen Bibles. And, and we will, we <laughs> will be selling Joel Osteen Bibles. And the School of Prophecy. Yep, the School of Prophecy. Oh wow! I didn't, I didn't catch any of that. Are you serious? I didn't, I. Studies. It's about teaching people from Pakistan. Bible study. Really? Her and her husband. We need a prayer support. Healing water for nineteen ninety five. <laughs> Plus shipping. Shipping <laughs> is forty nine ninety five. <laughs> Actually, she has a Joel Steen Bible, and I'm going to burn it this weekend. I used to we, We're going to do a. We're going to yeah, do a we coming to Jesus to meeting because I'm going to burn it. <laughs> oh, it's going to be on Periscope. The only Bible you're allowed to Because I hope... I, yeah. I, yeah. Hope, I hope this gets back to Joel Osteen, which it probably won't. He needs but. prayer. He and Victoria needs our prayers. He... They need our prayers. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they need our prayers. Everybody needs prayers. Yeah. Er everybody. T.D. Jakes. Recycle. There you go. I'm thinking... We'll refill them for 15. <laughs> uh, you know, I really shouldn't. I really shouldn't make fun of that because, you know, there's 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 a people. Oh boy. Um, mm. it's a Joel Steen Bible. It's it's not the Bible of God. No. We were all deceived by he him. He takes scripture out of context, so all of his hope notes that he has in the Bible, adding to. I didn't follow him. Adding to the he said, word. He said he sucked us in for a short time. I followed him from not, from 2005 up to a couple of years ago. So uh, but I was deceived too. Well, yeah. I mean, you, you have that you have that learning experience that God gives you. What's the name of then we got book? to questioning questioning some of his things. I don't know. Where's that? It's just. Um, it was. I have a, no idea it where was it's over at. there. He has a lot of books though too. So. Yeah. Um, but anyway. I think it's called Hope Hope for Today Bible. I think it is Hope for Something Today. Something like that. Um, but just be just be cautious um who you uh Oh what I was gonna say is we sure really shouldn't be laughing about that, but it is kinda funny because I mean it's not. Yeah. But it is because 
if you look at church today, anywhere you go, we was going to go to a church, uh, which was an assembly of God, and I was like, check it out, go to the website, and if I see purple lights, flashing lights, any kind of stage lights, I'm not going, because it looks too much like a nightclub, strip club, whatever kind of club you want to call it. Because they don't teach the Bible properly, and a lot of them don't. Nope, they don't. Uh... Wow, really, Lisa? So, wow. I have yet, I, correction, our church is not going to have lights. Mm -hmm. We're not even going to have a stage because I want to be right on the same level as the people in the, in the church. Um, you know, steeple. Yeah, she's hung up on a steeple. <laughs> Just a cross. That's it. You don't even need that. You tell people, here's a church, you build it, they will come, because God will send them. Um, church without walls. Church without walls, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, That's what we got last I don't, year. We, she, she looked at, at a couple of churches uh, online, and thank God for the internet, because yeah. now we can go be creepers and snoop at their praise and worship and, <laughs> and, and watch your crowd. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I won't go to an, into a church that's got lights, a light show, and it light, it's like I'm at a rock concert. I won't go to a rock concert. I'll go see a Christian concert. That's different. Yes. Because it's not in the church. They're there to worship God, and that's how they do it. They set the mood. Yeah. No fog. Fog either. lights. No fog. fog. No fog machines. Fog machines. Fog I, lights I are on a vehicle. I mean fog lights. I mean fog machines. <laughs> uh, we get shunned by churches because of being social. Mm. Oh, pardon me. Mm. You know what? That's the problem with the church. The church ain't showing people love. Mm. And what was um, if more churches would read John thirteen thirty four and thirty five, Jesus said, yep. "Love one another." Right. I don't care if you got a dime. I don't care if you live in a van. I don't care if you got a million dollars. I don't care if your your mansion's worth forty billion. Don't care. I'm gonna love you the same. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. Uh, you need, you know. Can't take it with you. Nope. You, no. You, you know, it, that's what's wrong with the church. That's why we're going to start a new breed of ministry and raise raise people up like they should and love on them and help them out. Yo, 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 <laughs> yo. Yo, yo, yo. Sup, sir. <laughs> Sup, Edwin. God bless you. I love you, man. Hello, Edwin. God bless you. Cracks me up. Josie joined, too. Hello, Josie. We're all together doing this. So, um, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I was just saying we're all together doing, was doing this. What I'm doing, what I'm doing, if people wonder when I'm, I'm on my phone, I am recording this. Um, on She's a creeper. No, I'm recording this to my camp to, to, to the to the to the gallery. Shalom. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna upload this to YouTube is what I'm gonna do. Shalom. Yeah. Yeah, to my YouTube channel. Yeah, if you guys uh, want to share this and uh, you know I hope it I hope it blesses you. I hope it it opens your eyes about how people are um, deceiving others uh, yeah. and edifying themselves. Uh, mm -hmm. Wolves. Say it. In sheep's clothing. What is it? Yes. Wolves in sheep's clothing. It's happening more and more every day. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we, we, I, we just wanted to get the word out. Because mm -hmm. uh, he's not who he says he is. He, he'll, he'll put on this facade of, you know, it's about Jesus Christ and blah, blah, blah. And then the minute you let him in. See, the devil just needs a crack. That's right. That's all right, brother. That's all right. You can watch the replay. Mm -hmm. um, the devil just needs a crack, and he will use any fool that'll allow him to be used. And a lot of times they don't even know they're being used either. Exactly. So once once you, once he gets in your circle, all hell breaks loose. You'll start seeing shadow people. You'll start seeing demonic things. You'll start having thoughts. About harming a spouse, family member, friend, co-worker, whatever. 
which I didn't because I, I had enough sense to walk away. Um, so just be careful with this guy. People that are just now coming in, please go back and watch the replay. We're talking about a guy calling himself Prophet um, David Navarro. Um, he's not who he says he is. So you have to watch the replay. Just be cautious of who you let in your circle. Test the spirits. Pray about it before you get involved with them. Make sure they're lining up with the Word of God. Yeah. Scriptures. Not twisting it. Not taking away. Not adding. Any of that. Yeah. You know, you have to be really cautious. And you have to have your spiritual eyes, ears, and your heart open. And you got to guard your heart. Because people will rip it out, spit on it, throw it in a blender, hit frat pay, and not even think twice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we all we all need help. I mean, we need help with this daily. Even me, even her, even her. We yes. all need help. And that's where the body of Christ needs to come together. Pray for one another. Lift one another up. Love on one another when we fall. Yes. Just don't kick us when we're down, you know, because we're, when you fall, when you get discouraged, we're going to pick you up. We're going to love on you. And we're going to love you right back to life. Right. And that's the way it's supposed to be in the body of Christ. And now that we are we, now that we are ministers, you two are, I guess, evangelists, and I'm, I'm a reverend now, pastor. Yeah. We are going to be attacked even more so, even more so. Yeah. So we, Especially we have to get armored guy, up. If this guy gets right wind up. that we are starting a ministry, yes. he's going to try to inch his way in. Not going to happen. No. Not going to happen. And the whole them. ceremony thing, I don't know how we're going to do this because my work schedule is like all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> I work I work two days, 7 to 3, um, two nights, 3 to 11, and one six, uh, 10 to 6. So I am all over the place. Saturday, Sundays and Mondays, I'm off. Uh, yeah. Got to pray for one another. Guardian of Truth has you covered. Can we talk? I love the name of that. Lord can we truth. talk more with you? Who's that? I? Catherine? Great or something. Great or seeing you. Exactly. Who said that? Michelle. Oh. Amen. Amen. Love you, Michelle. Um, I don't know who said something about talking to who. Uh, Catherine? Talk to who? They, is she talking to us? I think so. Oh. Probably message. She needs to follow us on Facebook. Yeah, you can um, look me up on Facebook and... Uh, we can message, uh, my wife's on Facebook, she's under, Joycey Rager, I don't know if it was Joy, because I never looked at it, <laughs> love you, Eddie, love you too, brother, oh, it's fine, um, because my name's kind of got a weird spelling, yeah, it's Joycey, J-O-Y-C-I-E, Rager, R-A-G-E-R, there it is, I, just go ahead and put mine up, <laughs> Put mine up too while you're at it, dear. <laughs> of course, I'm on Periscope. I have a YouTube channel. It's Reverend. It's Reverend Gloria Harlow Drummond. That's my YouTube channel. There is his. And then. Thanks for the hearts, guys. I can't believe I, me and Jesus broke a million. And yeah, there's my mom's. It's Reverend Gloria Harlow Drummond. I, ch I just did that today. I changed it. Oh. Can you put that up for me? Oh, you're not? You oh. bailed on your dad on oh scope? My. Yeah. Jordan Fisher. Man, kids today. Hey, I, I tell you what. If somebody gives me a shiny 1948 penny with a there. stamping D on it, I'll give you a 13 year old boy. <laughs> Because that penny's worth about $85,000. Oh, my. <laughs> my. Uh, so, anyway. Uh, why are, man, I wish these comments would stay up, uh, stay up longer. <laughs> what? Did that, something about praying? Are we praying? Are we praying? I don't know. Are we praying? Do you want us to pray? What do you need prayer for? Who are we praying for and what's the circumstance? It's getting hot in here. 
Holy ghost is everywhere. <laughs> yeah, that, that didn't sound too good. What's that say? <laughs> yeah. Yes, ma'am, I'm off Sunday. Um. Oh, bad connection. Yeah, it's actually my phone's probably about to die. Mine's at 23. Yeah, wow. my phone. My phone's about to die. I can't uh, We can do it then. All right. Um, cool. You guys. Uh, you might have to take names. Uh, on. what's yeah? What's your name? Um, you know that paper. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll we'll message you. Can you move? I'm trying to. Move. What's your? Uh, I'm at the still. My phone is hot. Yeah, go ahead. Catherine. Mm. Okay. I will look you up, and then we can message. Um, what time is it? Ten. Oh, Just it's ten. ten after yeah, I'm, I'm going to be going to bed, because i got to get up at four in the morning. Eight minutes after ten. Yeah, it's um, our bed time, past our bedtime. It's time. past my bedtime. Yeah. Um, but uh, you guys put up some ones, because we're going to pray real quick for these people. Um, I don't remember who they were. Was it Catherine? Uh, Catherine and... Um... um Okay, message tomorrow. Uh, one, one, one. I okay, we got. The other one. I think it was uh, her, uh, jo Josie. Oh, she jo did. Uh, she oh, said healing. healing. I healing. remember that now. Yeah. All right, you guys. Uh, Jordan, bow your head, please. Jeremy, her husband. Jeremy. Okay, he needs. What does he need? I'm ambidextrous. I can write with both hands. She's a lefty too. Healing on both. Okay. <laughs> so healing for healing for both. Both healing. And discernment. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Okay. And jo Josie mm -hmm. needs healing too. Okay. All right. Let's do this. You guys ready over there? Jordan, you ready? Yeah. All right, give me your hand. Okay, grab her hand somehow. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, we're going to get this all messed up. What's that job say? for Tamara. A job for Tamara? Yeah. And, okay. Let me write this down because I will forget. <laughs> job for. Let's see. I can do bedpans. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Alright, that was Catherine, right? Catherine and Jeremy? Yeah. Okay. Pray for me as well that I figure out how to delete people or start under a new name on Scope. You just block them. Yeah. It's, that's the only thing you can do. Is block them. People are either for you or they're against you. And if they're saying bad things about you, then they obviously aren't your friends. That's right. Yeah, because we love you. You don't let people in close enough to hurt you when they show their true colors. What's that say? Block ministry. Praise God. Yes. All right, let's, <laughs> let's pray for these people. Okay. Let's lift up the body of Christ, you guys. Okay. You ready? Yep. Alright. Heavenly Father, we come to you right now as humble as we know how, Lord. Uh, we're just asking for healing and discernment for Catherine and Jeremy, Lord. Um, we're just lifting you up at your feet, Lord, to, to give them what they need, give them their heart's desire. Um, let them know that there are people out there that will love them and not judge them on appearance or, or what they have or what they don't have, Lord. Um, and we thank you for that. Um, just love on them. Send your Holy Spirit to, to just love on them and minister to them. And just let them know that it's going to be alright. Regardless of the situation. 
and regardless of their surroundings and people that they are in contact with because they're not the judge lord you are and we just thank you for that and also we lift up uh josie to you for healing i don't know what it is you do father but we're asking for divine healing and um, just a divine touch from god or from you lord um, for for healing and, and whatever she needs and we also lift up uh, sister Tamara to you uh, father god um, she needs a job i know what it's like i've been there you've provided for me i know you will provide for her and Father God, we just we just ask that you open the floodgates right now and just pour it out for your people that are hungry for you, that are seeking you, seeking you, and they have the desire to learn more about you. And there's no coincidences in, in the uh, kingdom of God. You put people in our lives for a purpose, for a divine purpose, and I believe that. And we are here to show people your love and your mercy. And we're not going to judge anybody. Uh, because we don't want to be judged for our, for our walk, but we want to be judged by you graciously. But we are just here to do your work, Lord, and we love you and we praise you, Lord. And we lift up uh, the body of Christ to you, these people that are that are seeking you for healing and discernment and all, and all these prayer requests, Lord. And we ask all this in your sweet heavenly name. Amen. 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 Oh. You just got about 140 degrees in I know, it's like really hot. My. <sighs> Thank yeah. you guys, amen. Yes. God bless you all. Thank you for coming in. Please share this, tweet it, retweet it, retweet it, retweet, 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 tweet, 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 <laughs> tweet, tweet, tweet it. Um, <laughs> spit that out. Can't English. Um, but get the message out about this guy. If they don't, you know, if they don't, believe you um, they can message me um, and I'll send them the video because um, time's running out there's a lot of people being deceived by this feller um, so uh, just spread the word just let it spread like wildfire my lips are still red I don't <laughs> like uh oh. We just lost power. Are you guys still under warnings? Did Jack ever come back on yet? Mm -hmm. What's it say? Rain. Oh, now it's back on. I was getting ready to pray. Mm -hmm. But we're going to pray anyway. Lord, we lift up Tamara yes. to you and, and the whole, whole household that that storm has detoured. Mm -hmm. back up into the sky back up into the heavens and yes. and no harm will come on their, their property line their home anywhere in the vicinity of them Lord and we just thank you for it in Jesus name Amen mm -hmm. around Jackie's too oh Jackie, Jackie too yeah, yeah ja she went to the basement yeah Jackie Lord we're praying for Jackie too just detour it detour yeah. it just suck it back up in heaven <laughs> just <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, Sunday I'm off, Tamara, and Mondays. I do have a phone call about five ish. Uh, isn't that what I told him? Five, five or six Sunday? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Five or six Sunday with a guy that's going to build our website, which he gave me a really good deal for our bucks. And I've seen a little bit of his work and I like it. So, Sunday-ish, morning-ish, uh, early yeah. p.m., the blood of Jesus over everyone on this scope, mm. replay viewers, blood yes. of Jesus, yeah. uh, whatever you're going through, if you guys need prayer, just message us on, on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Most of you are following us, uh, most of you are not, <laughs> but most of you are. Um, but yeah, he's he's really good at what he does, and we're really excited. Um, just just thank God, just thank God we're here. We don't want no credit because we're just here doing his work. Um, okay, awesome. We will follow you back. God bless you. Thank you for coming in. It was nice meeting you. I am Joyce. She's Michael. <laughs> we're the Ragers. Or wait a minute, I'm Michael. She's Joyce. Crazy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
just a little humor for you guys. Um, so, and I'm just the mother-in-law. Did you hear? I heard a bird tweet. <laughs> tweet, tweet. Hey man, shalom. Um, but hopefully you guys will catch us in here. I want to start back up my church and get to yeah. a Yes. Sounds like a plan to me. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to move out there. Man, it looks like a spider bite. What? It looks like a spider oh bite. Oh my. That's bigger it, than it, a mosquito bite. Yeah, that really hurts. Anyway, I don't care. Oh my. If I don't wake up in the morning, you guys, I love you very much. I'll see you in heaven. I was going to say that. Um, That's okay over that, too. Nah, I'll be all right. We're praying over it. Okay, we're praying over it. <laughs> Lord, heal my mosquito, my spider bite, scorpion bite, roach bite, whatever it is. We're just we don't have it. no scorpions here. Now, if we live in Oklahoma, Arkansas, yeah, I didn't see that. that. What did that say? And retreat. Something to retreat. Something about they want her and her husband wanted to start a ministry or something. I, I only caught part of that. God can God can do it. Mm -hmm. yep. He can open up doors like you've never seen before. You guys have a will. If you have the will, yeah, God right. has the way. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes, Tamara can help. Get in touch with her. Uh, what? Oh, 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 great. Dang it. What happened? Uh, we want to get our dance started at the church. Oh, and retreat. <laughs> oh, okay. Still sitting back in grand. That's all she does, <laughs> man. Well, I knew this was your scope, so I wanted to kind of be on the ground. Michelle computer. said you're just sitting back there grinning. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she's like the, the yard gnomes. She just... I guess at least, at least I've got a hood ornament, I don't guess. Oh, my. So, hi, Gloria, behind you. Robert Ward oh, said hi. Well, tell? hello, uh, Brother Ward. Oh, I'm still keeping it. your bro your uh, brother-in-law in prayer. She's the whole time. Yes. I'm so I didn't know that prayer. was He that was the one that I did Utah? the private. Yeah. Hey, dude, you changed your name. Throw me all off. <laughs> God bless you, though. Mm -hmm. You have to go back and watch the replay. A lot of good stuff in here. Yeah. God showed up, showed out, and wrecked me and everybody else with knowledge. Yes. Um, and it's about a dude that is um, not who he says he is. He's a prophet, and he's a prophet from hell. Um, so... What are we sorry for? So you have to go back and watch the replay. Is David... Uh, he slipped into a coma. David, okay. Oh, he his brother... In, his Robert brother wanted to say that to you. Oh, wow. His brother-in-law slipped into a co coma. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Wow. Well, um, well, we will lift him up in prayer. I just wanted to let David know that this is my daughter, Joycey, and this is my, her husband, Michael. David who? David Ward. He lives in... Oklahoma. No, his name is Robert. His Robert, name, Robert. Robert. I met Robert. I met Robert Ward. He Sorry. lives in Oklahoma his City. Is oh, his, Utah. He's his, the one that I brought is, private his name, is John. his name is John. Oh. His, his brother in law. His brother in law. Okay. Brother in law. His yes. brother in law's name. Yes. Uh, yeah, brother in law is named John. But we oh. will lift him up in prayer. Mm -hmm. You guys, uh, let's, let's pray for this uh, young man that's in a coma. Uh, put up a one if you guys are in an agreement because uh, he's a family member that, that desperately needs uh, God's prayers. Uh, being in a coma, I mean, that's that's no good. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, gosh, I'm getting emotional about this. Whew, I couldn't imagine uh, a family member being in a coma. So we are probably scoped. Not... Alright, we're going to pray. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And I follow and lift up this man to you. This man named John that's in a coma. Father God, we're, we're just asking for divine healing over this man. Jesus. 
wake this man up so he can have a story to tell. Yes. That he's seen heaven or he's seen the face of God. Yes. So he can share with people that are lost. So he can win souls to to heaven, Lord. Give him a testimony that'll shake hell wide open. Just heal him from the top of his head to the soles of his feet, Lord. And he comes out unscathed, nothing wrong with him. All his organs in work, perfect working order, blood pressure perfect, yes, breathing, Jesus. breathing perfect, the memory, everything perfect. Yes. Uh, God, we we just pray this right now over this man, and we thank you for and we thank you for what you're about to do in this man's life. And we say thank you and pray and we praise you. And everybody said. Amen. 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 In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. God. Oh, Lord Jesus. I need, a, I need a Kleenex or something, right? Yeah. God shows up, he don't even play around. No, he don't. No, he don't. The ball bag fest. That's where I was last night when I was private scoping. Uh, oh. And I was Man. Playing. Have to keep us uh, informed. Yes. Robert. That is his name, right? Yeah. yeah. Robert Ward. Yeah, Robert. Coleman. There, there he is. Huh? Well, it says Robert Coleman. I think. It says Coleman. Robert Ward. Oh. That's Utah. I thought um, it was Oklahoma. It's A.E. What's A.E.? What's all? No, all, it's, it's Austin. Awesome. He's yeah, from it Utah. Is. Utah Red Hat. Oh. He changed his name on there. Yes, he does. He shows up and show out. Yep. Shows out as long as you yield to him. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what was money? Um, no, I don't think so. What? She was thinking it was someone else. Oh, yeah. yeah. No. You have to go back and watch the replay. <laughs> Gosh, and you're always sitting re recording it the whole time. <laughs> now he's on Robert Ward. Yeah, yeah, that's the one, Robert Ward. Yeah. Yeah, we, we his, just prayed for his brother-in-law. His brother-in-law, yes, uh, yes. John. John, yes. Yeah. I think that, okay, that wasn't the same one then. Yeah. That wasn't Utah. Yeah, the, the, red, hat, the red hat guy, he was from uh, I, Utah. Yeah. I remember that, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know what that said. I missed it. Okay. I didn't see it. I'm a little slow tonight. My Jesus has got me all. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off too. Yeah, go ahead. Because twenty-three minutes. Yeah, because we're getting right. Yeah. We're getting ready to shut this down because I got this the old man's got to go to Holy Ghost. Yeah. This is Reverend Gloria Harlow Drummond signing off from uh, my son-in-law and my dear son and his <laughs> wife, Joycey, from their periscope. <laughs> so, good night. God bless you all. That's cool. Yes. I love you all very, very much. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy <laughs> Ghost, have a sweet, pe sweet, peaceful night. Jesus, sleep. Amen and amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen.